Welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. We're in the kitchen with Kwan Jay Chan, who's about to whip up the perfect weekend dish. What are we making, Kwan Jay? So, guys, um, we're going to make a lovely um, beef and broccoli um, with udon noodles. Udon noodles is um, it's a Japanese noodle, which is very thick, you know. So, um, first of all, I have some. We. He's cooking. Yeah. Watching. It's a surname of beef. Thank God. <laughs> Don't worry. I was like, oh dear. Well, you have to cook, you know that. <laughs> no, oh um, surname of beef, I sliced it really thin. So what I did was uh, I sliced it kind of like sideways so we get that kind of sliverings around, you know? Okay. Because um, I want a nice surface on it and you get a nice bite. Oh. It's like little steaks. So what I did was uh, I put um, some sesame oil in here, some soya sauce, okay? I, I marinate the beef first, get a lovely flavour in it. And I've I done a bit of cheat today, so uh, I'm, normally I get some um, fresh, gar uh, fresh ginger, but you can buy the greatest pureed stuff today, so okay. I'm cheating, you know, so it's that's Friday. Fine. It's Friday. We'll let you away with it. <laughs> and a bit of a, um, um, it's a vegetarian kind of mushroom oyster sauce, so you put that in there. It gets a really good flavour. Okay. So marinate this for about maybe... Where would you get that, that mushroom sauce? You can get that in the Asian market, but you can get it at some of the health, good uh, food stores oh, as well, okay. you know, around. Lovely. So um, I know a lot of people ask uh, where do you get all these ingredients. Like so most of the stuff that I use, like it's, um, you can get in supermarkets. Right, OK. But special ones like you probably get Just in the Asian market. Just looking for me in Donegal that I can... I know, yeah. <laughs> sure. I can find. Sure, as a home in ages, we, we normally go to dairy to get all that stuff, you know, so yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, heat up the pan. I put some um, garlic in here as well. Okay? okay. So what we want to do is fry off the beef first. Okay. So let this marinate about 10, 15 minutes. Get a nice wok, nice heat. Put a bit of oil in there. Fry this off. So it's because it's a um, it's a sirloin of beef. So you don't have to cook it really well done like a chicken or a pork. You know what I mean? Like oh, so. Yeah. Okay. So I have some um, broccoli. I have some. Um, I'm going to turn this up a wee bit more. And. It actually smells divine already. It smells yeah, already. it's that marinade, you yeah. know, and the soya that you smell. Yeah. So tender stem broccoli. This is tender stem. This time of year, lovely. Yeah. Um, so leave the stems on. Leave the stems on. Don't chop it off. <laughs> this is like normal broccoli. You're supposed to eat the stem. It has a lovely crunch in it, you know what I mean? So just fry that off. You can see the beef kind of browning oh, off already. The aroma is just really nice. gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You smell that, can you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's just a waffle of aroma, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so you don't cook much at home around do you know? <laughs> Come on, be honest. <laughs> well, I give it away. No, yeah. I, I honestly, I, I don't. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to cooking. Okay. Um, but I love when people cook for me, so yeah. this works out very well. So mommy and daddy would cook a lot more, <laughs> would you? Uh, a little bit, yeah, okay. but I'm a little bit lazy, to be honest. But. Yeah. Um, I don't cook much at home either. My, uh, what? Yeah, but sometimes chefs don't really cook much at home. You know what I mean? But you nearly think that, but uh, we're all mostly working and getting other people to cook for us. So. Oh my lord, yeah. I would be having you okay, cook all but, the time. But, but when the food is handed up to you, do you judge? Do you pass Absolutely comments? Absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. No, because you want to, <laughs> you want to be able to come home the next night for <laughs> yeah, dinner. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so I fire some um, shallots in there as well, yes. just to get a bit of browning again, okay? You can see the beef there, are lovely. Very nice. So I got the udon noodles. Udon noodles, you can buy in packets. You can buy them like spaghetti as well. You can cook them in water. But uh, cheat on Friday night. This is perfect, you okay. know what I mean? Like, so it comes out. So what you want to do is just fire that in there. Very easy. You can okay. see the beef is ready. You can get that in there. OK. So I'm going to turn this up again. So we're going to fry this off a little bit, and we're going to put a bit of water in there. Just create a bit of a liquid. So small bit of water. You can use chicken stock as well. I'm using water. Okay. But that gets a bit of steam going. Exactly, yeah. But you also want a bit of sauce to go with that noodles, yeah. you know, so yeah. that's what I'm doing. It's also quite, like, healthy. You've got your, you know, your veg and... Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. OK, what's next? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Small bit of... I, I, you know the way I'm always cooking with potato starch, Martin? Yes. This Irish company contacted me with potato starch, and this is the Irish potato starch. You can imagine that. A big oh, jar of Irish potato starch. <laughs> yeah, seriously, yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so they make potato starch, so um, that thickens up the sauce. So okay. that's what I'm doing there. All right. This is going to take one minute. So It smells so nice. It really does. So I you can see it kind of nicely <laughs> thickened up now. So this is nearly ready. So what I'm going to do is finish off. I'm going to finish off with some soy sauce and a small drop of honey just to give a bit of sweetness as well. You can use sugar as well if you want, but I like using honey because it gives it a lovely glaze. In the, in the instance that you don't have honey, is it, it, would brown Grain, sugar be granulated, granulated oh, sugar granulated or anything like that as well? But let it cook down, you know. 
So, and that's Do you know it. if I tried to do that thing that he just done oh, there? Yeah. Uh, no. Do you want to give it no, a go? No, I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> it would end up on the floor and I'd be like, it's not great no, for my I'd, first I'd day. i just be wearing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's it, guys. Isn't that just really simple? Like, you know what I mean? That's cooked there, so. Beautiful. Yeah. It looks lovely. Divine. Oh, I'm very excited okay, about this. It's hot now, okay? So. Okay, while you're placing up, a yeah. um, number of people have been in touch because this is the first time that Grania has ever done a chat show on, on TV, <laughs> presented a chat show. Um, Carmel texted in, great job tonight, Grania. Thoroughly enjoying watching you. You were made for chat show hosts. Oh, that is so Carmel. nice. I didn't and... pay her, I, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucia texting, Grania is doing a great job already co-presenting. Oh, lovely. That is really, really nice to it hear. Is, Thank you so much. Cool. Um, comments I have in Annie in Dublin said loving the show um, Sonia and Brendan were Thank brilliant you. I'm definitely getting that gorgeous blue jumpsuit that she was wearing lovely. so really, really that is really really nice yeah for, for them and then Tam tweeted that Barry is so talented what an actor he, he is and you know a great role model for Sonia fabulous role model know. he's done so well and, you know, and, the, and, the, and the fact that he you know, you know sent a tweet all those years ago to Stan Lee saying Turn me into an Irish, into and now look at the him. first Irish superhero, <laughs> and now he's there. He manifested. It. Now look at he did manifest okay. it. Right, he I'm did. excited okay. about this. Okay. It actually Get stuck so in nice. there. Uh, Quanche, this looks amazing. It's got a really nice texture, but it's so simple. Like if you're on Friday night, like you know, if you go home, mm. even in the supper, like you know, if you come down, you have all that stuff. Just back in and walk. So lovely. Day. Oh my God. So, so nice. So quick and so healthy as well. So quick. Mm. Mm -hmm. So easy. Okay. And very so very easy. tasty. Glad you Yeah. Before we go, we have to say. Um, something very special to our producer tonight, and that's Luke. Uh, Luke Mulcahy, who was saying goodbye to us after this show. So, Luke, thank you so much. We are going to miss you. Luke. Mm. Fabulous. We really are going to miss you. And good luck. Good luck in the next chapter. Uh, and that is it. That's uh, all we got time for tonight. You're a happy girl. I'm like sitting here. I'm like, can I still eat this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you, can. Can you, can. you might have something to say before we're done. Uh, thank you to all of our guests, of course, and to Quan Jay uh, for dinner. Ray and Karen will be here on Monday chatting to Carl Spain and to Brezzi. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so delighted to have been in today with such lovely guests. And obviously, you, e. Martin, thank you so much. So it's have a, a fantastic weekend. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy yourselves. I think she deserves a glass of wine. Now. I absolutely. I'm going to eat this first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look.